Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson here, and this short screencast will help debrief on Hands-On Project 3.2 from our textbook, and the web page looks like this, and the JavaScript will interact with these three input boxes and provide placeholder values if we have an older browser. And the way the JavaScript runs is that it's run from an event listener. We have created the insert placeholders function, and we're running it on this event listener that tests to see if our window has an add event listener. If that's true, we run a current event listener statement. If that's not true and we're in an older browser, we're going to test to see if the window has the attach event method. And if it does, then we'll run the insert placeholders function on the onload event. So that's how we're triggering our code. Let's look at the function itself. It's called insert placeholders followed by left right parenthesis. All function code, of course, is in curly braces. The most interesting statement to me is this if statement, and we know that all the code, all the statements to be run, if the if statement returns true, are inside curly braces as well. After our if statement, we have in parentheses our test, and this statement is basically looking into the modernizer library for the placeholder property of the input element. And what it's saying is if that does not exist. And by the way, the placeholder attribute is an HTML5 construct. So it wasn't always available on older browsers. And so this statement is saying if modernizer can detect that you're in an older browser and that the placeholder attribute does not exist for the input element. In other words, if you're in an older browser, instead of using the placeholder attribute, to put these three placeholder texts in the input boxes. Let's just go ahead and give them a dot value with the same values. So if placeholder doesn't exist by virtue of this test, if that comes out false, then we're going to, in the name input box, text box, we're gonna use the dot value property and set that to first and last name for the email input text box, we're going to set a value, and for the phone input box, we're going to set a value. In other words, we're going to use values instead of placeholders to simulate this placeholder text when the person loads the web page. The problem with this is that you probably can't test if this JavaScript is really working well or not, because you'd have to have a browser that comes back true for this in order to see if the values worked. And for this statement to evaluate true, you're going to have to be working in a browser that does not support the placeholder attribute. So that would be an older browser indeed. Let's just copy placeholder. And I want to take you to a website that is very handy, and it's called caniuse.com. And you can basically type in here anything that has to do with HTML, CSS, and see what browsers do and do not support it. So the placeholder attribute, and here we go. If I scroll down, and I look for the placeholder attribute, I can see that that had trouble in Internet Explorer 8 and 9. So if your analytics tell you that you've got a significant group of users that are using Internet Explorer 8 and 9, then this would be something that you'd need to be worried about. Otherwise, that's a lot of extra code for no good reason. Thank you.